right now, we, without wasting much of our time, we need to move straight to the next item, which is to officially welcome each and every one of us to this glorious event. It's the 8th edition, but 10th year of one Uma, inshallah. Join us and welcome no other person to do honors to this than the number one citizen of one Uma. Join us and welcome. Amir Abubakar. Atekbir. Allahu Akbar. And as he makes his way onto the stage, we'd like to acknowledge and welcome into our midst Al Haji Ahmed Adamma. He's a patron of several Islamic organizations here in Nigeria, and he has um, decided to spend this weekend with us. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah make it way heavy on your scales of good deeds. Amir, the mic is yours. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli wa sahbihi wa sallam, wa bad assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We give all thanks and praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it possible for us to have uh, this year's convention or to meet this year's convention, which also commemorates the 10th year of the existence of one ummah. Um, subhanallah, a decade has flown by as though it was just a few hours or a few days. And to think that we have carried out this particular or worked on this particular organization for this period with the support of all of you and all of the wonderful guests that we have in our midst today, um, it is truly a blessing and it is truly a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to start by sincerely thanking Allah for giving us the strength, for giving us the creativity for giving us the ability to do some of what we have done and what we hope to continue to do for the ummah, not just in our part of the world, Nigeria or Africa, but on a global scale. Alhamdulillah, one ummah is your organization. It is our organization. We are all part of it. And that's why the theme song of one ummah or the theme nasheed, I do not want to say song now, but the theme nasheed is the one ummah, one family. And so for everyone that reaches out and asks us, how can we be a part of one ummah? Always our response to them is you're already a part of one ummah. As bi'idhnillah ta'ala, we are all, all striving for the same goal and all seeking to please our creator, whom we will all return to and we will all be held accountable for our deeds before him. This year's convention has brought about very peculiar challenges for the ummah, and that's why the theme changing the narratives. For a number of us, we have seen how the world continues to rapidly advance from the introduction of artificial intelligence to the rights that are being called that are completely against our morals and our ethos as Muslims, and then to the sad calamity we see befalling our brothers and sisters in Palestine. For many who have felt very weak, very sad, very worried, very anxious, some even getting depressed because you ask yourself, what can I do for them, aside making dua? Do not think your dua is not being heard by the Almighty. Verily, your duas are strong before the Almighty, especially for those who perform them with sincerity. And so the first we should always do, especially in this state for our brothers and sisters in Palestine, is to make dua for them and ask Allah to ease their difficulties and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant them strength and grant martyrdom to those who have returned to him. It is also a trial for us because we must also find our own path to know what we can do to help our brothers and sisters in this part of the world. And our donations will matter our goodwill, those who can support causes that helps to speak more about the injustices and the oppression we see in that part of the world, we should lend our voices to it, and we use this platform as well to lend our voice to that. Something I also want to take time to mention is the phenomenal work that the volunteers of One Ummah have done. A lot of times we see the events take place, we see the work put in, but there are people in the background that for a very, very long time, they have chosen not to be recognized and chosen not to be acknowledged. And a lot of times they do it strictly for the sake of Allah. And just as Mufti mentioned during the dinner that was held recently, your reward is with Allah. So I use this opportunity to also 
really congratulate all of the volunteers and all of those that have been a part of this movement for a decade. And I pray that may Allah bless them and accept from each and every one of them. And for all of you that are here, that have honored us with your presence, that have supported us over the years, that have kept coming for the One Ummah Peace and Unity Convention, I say to you all, Jazakumullahu Khairan. We haven't gotten to this point in our um, existence except by the support and the goodwill we have also been able to get from the numbers that have always come for the convention. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses this event and blesses this affair for us. May it be a source of goodness for us in the hereafter. May Allah preserve all of our scholars that have come from far and wide. For the very first time in our dear country, Dr. Haifa Yunus, who has come from uh, all the way from the USA. We have Sheikh Wa'il Ibrahim, uh, all the way from Australia, probably traveled the furthest to come to us. Um, we have Dr. Muhammad Salah as well. Uh, yesterday, for some of you who watched the interview on NTA, Good Morning, uh, he was asked if he was a Nigerian. Um, and he hesitated for a bit because he was a bit uh, funny to have the woman ask that question directly. And he said, you know what, I think I am Nigerian. We had this conversation afterwards. And to Mufti Ismail Menk, who has also, I would say he's a Nigerian. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the Fast and Furious video that he made recently. Some people are wondering, he's driving in Nigeria. He's, um, may Allah bless him and preserve him. Professor Isa Ali Pantami, a former Minister of Communication, whom prior to being and even after, he has still continued to be with us. May Allah preserve him upon goodness. He's our teacher, a scholar, and a very wonderful brother. Al-Haji Ahmed Adhama, um, whom I can't say a lot about him because he's a very shy individual, but I pray that may Allah reward him with all the good that he has done and each and every one of us that are here. Uh, one person I also want to mention, Sheikh Ammar Ashukri, even though he's not here, he's gone for another of the sessions. This is his first time to Nigeria, and trust me, within 48 hours, now we're counting 72 hours, he's had a very wonderful stay and an amazing feedback that he has given to each and every one of us. I hope and pray that they all continue to have amazing periods with us. They continue to come to our dear country. They continue to visit us here and everywhere one ummah has the vision to get to in Africa and across the globe that we continue to be a part of this journey together. Jazakumullah khairan again to everyone. May Allah bless you. May this, uh, may this year's event be more impactful than we had ever imagined. And I pray that the lessons that you all learn from here be or they will be life lessons that you would use to impact in your lives as you continue. And on a final note, I ask that uh, you all remember, we have some very nice surprise for every participant this year. I think three things, and I'll let the MCs talk about them, inshallah. But one of them, is that inshallah, one person will have the opportunity to go on the One Ummah Qalam Tours, Sira Umrah Tour in December, bi ta'ala. So we are excited about that. We look forward to that particular time, and we pray that amongst those that will be here, uh, whoever it is that Allah has destined, may Allah bless you. So charge your phones, make sure you have good internet. If MTN is giving you trouble, port to any other line, right? And barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan. Abdul Jabril. Jazakumullah khairan. We want to say a big thank you to our Amir. He has thanked everyone of us. We want to also thank him. Amir Abu Bakr for doing a very good job. Barakallahu feekum. I don't know how he's coping. Amir. Hmm. With all the stress. And he's looking so handsome. Well, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. 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 Mashallah.